Hi, this is Anna. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I have five Halloween journals to share with you. I hope the light is okay. Um, so these journals are one signature journals and they are, let's see, I know that they are nine by uh, four and a quarter. Somewhere about um, half an inch to an inch here so you can see five of them here the way they look so I have five of them and they're pretty much the same uh, it's very similar paper they all tie with this sari silk as you can see so I'm just going to have one listing in my uh, in my shop and then um, you can if you're interested you can pick whatever uh number you want. i'm going to uh number them so this is going to be one so that's the one that's the one with the uh candle i'll be right back i don't want any interactions when i'm uh interruptions <laughs> when i'm recording so that's the candle here. So these journals are made with two junk mail envelopes that are connected here. And then I used a book page uh, from Halloween book. So that's the, um, that's the book page on top of here. And then this is fabric to reinforce the spine and they're stitched around. So. Each journal has different page, so that's how I'm going to know which is going to be which. And then this is brown paper, packaging paper on the inside. So they come with, uh, they're made with 16 different sheets. So this is double-sided cardstock. So this might be different, journal to, to journal. And then black and white uh, pages, that's the paper that I purchased that looks like coffee dye paper, uh, black sheer mesh with orange color glitter spider webs. So in these journals, this is lined paper with the haunted house here. Uh, a lot of stamping. So in these, and the, the ephemera is pretty much the same or very similar. So in these journals, I only used black, orange, and then, you know, white, off-white, gray. There's no green, there's no purple, blue, there are no other colors. So I was trying to be focused. Each has one of these pieces, the, uh, Tim Holtz. And I have roses here because there are roses on this page here. And they all have this wired ribbon belly band. And I stamped some Halloween images so you can cut these out and maybe glue somewhere in a book or you can make an envelope out of this um, whatever you feel like doing that's what this is for here so I had to fold it like that so it would fit and the uh, um, paper clips are also white orange and uh, silver. This is coffee dye paper. So this is lined paper, coffee dye paper, um, stamping. So they will all have the same stuff. Um, brown bag, as you can see, and they will all have in the middle cardstock with um, jack o' lantern. So you can do whatever you want with this part. You can trim it. You can make a pocket out of it. You can make tags with it. So. Dif they will have different stamps inside, but they will have the same ephemera pretty much. So this you can glue this on top of here and make this booklet. So in the, the other ones, I'm not going to take everything out because it's pretty much the same stuff. And I don't want to take too much time, but I did want to show the inside of these books. So this is coffee dyed again. So you can really work with these journals and make them your own. So that's another pocket. 
and that's also a piece of ephemera here so mostly orange as you can see this i had to reinforce because that was the um, part with, where it was uh, folding the middle of the page so i have masking tape here and it's a beautiful scenery again and that's also a flip and they will all have this flip either at the beginning or at the end and they all have this tag stamped uh, dollar tree paper and that is the back they will all have this stamp here and the stamps here so this is one if you're interested in this one that's the candle one and they just tie when you wrap this sari silk twice double wrap just so i just wanted something to close it and i thought this would uh, look great on it so it's orange too so that's the journal so that's one and now i'm going to go a little faster because i don't want to take much time so this one is with the cat and kind of like orange ornaments and there's another so this is an ornament and so cat ornaments i will hear another cat here so this is pretty much tree halloween tree with ornaments so this one has spiders for example and here's again ephemera and as i mentioned this these uh, might be different and different stamps, but paper is the same. That's that paper that's already uh, folded. These are the, that's the stamped uh, book page. That's a flip, two things here. So that's going to be two. Now this one has Halloween baskets. That's going to be number three and candy. So as you can see, very similar inside. So great for October daily because it's just so much space to journal and add your own things to it. So this one has a trunk. And this one has <coughs> pumpkins here on the front. And that is the only green I have in the entire 
all of these uh, five journals. I didn't notice there was green. So it's skulls here. Potion. So that's going to be four. That's the flip. These are really cool. I really enjoyed uh, making these. And the last one has a uh, kitty cat. So that's a decoration here, cat. And Halloween cake. So see this one has bats. And the flip is on the front. So that's going to be five. So the wired ribbon is also black and orange and white. I think you're going to have a lot of fun with these. This one again has potion. So as you can see, tag, tag, this ephemera and journaling card underneath it. And then here's this tag. And that's it. So I have five of these available. If you're interested, I'm going to link, I'm going to just make one listing. And so that was number five, number four, three, two, and one. So super cool. You will fit it in your purse. That nothing sticks out, they tie, so it's uh, very convenient. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. Uh, Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.